and then I went to University of Pennsylvania, bachelor's, master's, and PhD in medicinal chemistry, uh -huh. medicinal chemistry and pharmaceutical science. Uh -huh. And after graduating from, the, I am the first Indian submitted the own thesis, my own idea, and University of Pennsylvania, the first patent, my patent issue, my first patent in the United States. So the issue. very first patent in the United had. States, my own thesis. It's okay. a bronchodilator drug. Uh -huh. Because it's a bron bronchodilator drug. What does it do? It, 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 it dilates the bronchial, bronchial, the asthma. So okay. they patented, University of Pennsylvania patented my part. This is my first patent in the United States. Now, how many patents did you get? I got more than 200 patents worldwide. And the many of them, some of them are into, into converted into practice in the world. Uh -huh. I got drugs, several drugs. Uh -huh. I discovered several drugs in the course of time. One is called Zerostin or the metallozone, widely used. All these are approved by the FDA. Now, it's everybody true. by now is asking, do, are you getting royalties from these? No, because the patent expired now. I'm not getting any royalty. It's okay. not the worldwide marketed. It's marketed in India. It's sold wide like, like, like hot cake in India for, the, for hybrid pressure. So you help the mankind. Yeah, I help the mankind, yes. Because that's, my, that's my, one of my desire. Uh -huh. In the village, people died of malaria and other disease. I uh -huh. said, I want to discover drug. That's uh -huh. what they said. And that, that seed, of, seed was for discovering drug was sown in my village. Uh -huh. That ambition, uh -huh. and that I carried my ambition because I want to relieve human suffering. So you wrote a book. Yeah. You want to tell the world what you have been up to through this book. Well, this book is in in the planning for a long time. It took me more than ten years to write. Uh -huh. And uh, I said that I have a very complicated, very difficult life. I have a story which will be inspiration for those. Uh -huh. who are downtrodden, difficulty, and, and the path are ridden with thorns and valleys and so on. This, so, folks, is an inspiration. And he came from a small village with no education, late in his life, he tried to get his education, and then came to America 1948. I mean, that was the time when, you know, discrimination, segregation was all over the place. Yep, yes. And you conquered all of that, and you made your life so rewarding. Now, which are some of the companies that you worked for? I worked for the Wyatt Institute for Medical Research, Radnor, Pennsylvania. I worked for the Penwall Corporation, Rochester, New York. I worked for the Pharma, Yonkers, New York, and also their branch in Basel, Switzerland. Uh -huh for 12 years. In Rochester, New York, I built a multi-million dollar research center. And there, my drug was their mainstay, their metallozone, Zerostin. That's where I discovered when I was the director of research. The latest discovery now is a drug against AIDS. Okay. And it is going undergoing clinical trial in the United States and in India. Tell me, how did you get into Washington, D.C.? It was the FDA. I worked with the FDA for 18 years. Uh -huh. that's, that's why I came to Maryland. Okay. Now, what did you do at FDA? FDA reviewing IND, what's called IND investigation, new drug application, uh -huh. and new drug application, and uh, the, the, the inspection report and all sort of the regulation I had to review before approving the market in the drug. Since then, what did you do after you retired from After I retired from the FDA, I started my own company called Wyomed Corporation. Uh -huh. Wyomed Corporation, I do, I do research. Uh -huh. And uh, various drugs have been, been undergoing clinical trials, tests going on throughout the United States at the uh -huh. National Institute of Health uh -huh. and uh, the, the various uh, Battle University, Battle uh -huh. Laboratory in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, uh -huh. and various other laboratory tests is going on. I okay. discovered drug against smallpox, Jeez. against anthrax, against bird flu, and my leading drug is against against uh, against AIDS. It's so good. now you're still active. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very active. I'm very active. Tell me now, have you been back to India? Have you been back to your village? <laughs> yes. I've been going to India almost two, three times a year. I saw that large number of scholarships given by the government of India doesn't filter through to the poor people in the villages in uh -huh. India. Uh -huh. So in 2006, I established a foundation called Dr. Bola Vittal Shetty Foundation in Bangalore uh -huh. and tax exempt foundation. Uh -huh. And last year, we offered scholarship and uh -huh. bore well. The three uh -huh. girls uh -huh. go to colleges, uh -huh. and the qualification for the Dr. Bola with the Foundation uh -huh. is the poorest of the poor students. Uh -huh. Not the brightest of the brightest, but the poorest of the poor. Uh -huh. But they have ambition to go forward in life. Just like uh, you. Yeah. Well, yeah, just like me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and we are going to spread this scholarship throughout 
South Canada first, uh -huh. and then spread the rest of India. So and fantastic. Your life story is really inspiring. I am sure inspiring to many folks who are going through the problems that you went through. And I will uh, send your patents to the Smithsonian Institute because they're putting together an exhibit called Homespun. I and see. they want the Indian American uh, artifacts, particularly something like this, that they would like to put it in the uh, museum and then take it around the world and show it to the people what Indian Americans have been able to achieve. Well, sir, you are the best immigrant that I have ever met. And I thank you for coming to our studio, inspiring a boatload of people out there that are probably going through what you went through back then. My hat off to you. Thank you, Mr. Ramesh Bhutani. I really appreciate you inviting me. You're welcome, sir. We shall be right back.